Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks and you are checking out a Dune 2.5 walkthrough video for ADSR Sounds. In this video, we're going to be checking out the new features that were rolled out with the free for any registered or current users of Dune 2. Uh, the, the new features, and there are four of them. So before we get into that, I want to do a quick digression. Um, well, two of them actually. If you're wondering why my Dune looks so different, so much different than yours potentially, it's because I have a custom theme in installed. As you know, I'm a big fan of custom themes. And I'm using Logic for my DAW right now, and both of both of these things are using custom skins or themes. So if you want to know why your Dune, why my Dune doesn't look exactly like this, I think this is the only gripe I have with this synth was the appearance. I hated the appearance, so I jumped at a chance to get new themes. And I like this one because it makes it look like an Axis virus. Anyway, if you want to know how to do that, I can do a tutorial video on this. Uh, just post that in the comments. So. Second thing I want to talk about is if you don't have or you don't know much about Synapse Audio and Dune 2, definitely check it out and get in the know. It is a wonderful synth. You guys know I'm not a huge proponent of, I don't do a lot of review type things. I just do, you know, I, I show you things that I like to use and I love using Dune 2. It is one of my favorite soft synths of all time without a doubt and I think it's so underrated. It should be as popular as the Massives, the Spires, and the Serums of the world. It is a lovely synth. So we got that out of the way. Let's talk about 2.5 for all the Dune 2 users out there. So four things were added or changed or included in this new rollout. And the first one being, if you're a Pro Tools user, there's now AAX support, which is great. Now, they added some things that will be universal for every user. And things like there are now two ambient sound sets as a, as a Christmas or an Xmas add-on, as they're, as they're uh, called in, this, in the factory library or in the library tab. So if you go do sound bank and you'll see you have your factory and then you, anything you've purchased down here or whatever. And then there's the Xmas add-on. This comes free with the update. And there's around, there's a, I think there's 121 or 122 uh, presets in the first bank there. And then in the second one, I think there's 128. So it's around 250 sounds. And some of them are absolutely stunning. So it's great because in my opinion, Dune 2, the library for the factory library definitely leaned on synth heavy sounds and EDM heavy sounds. And now there's these more ambient types of sounds that Dune 2 is incredibly capable of creating because it has these multi-stage envelopes, which are, if you know anything about those, um, the, the multi-segment envelopes, you, you can you, you can basically create very uh, evolving lush sounds with those types of of uh, envelopes and it's it's really cool so that's awesome i'll play some of those in a little bit after we do the basic run through they also added around 60 i think 58 60 presets to the factory library now i think it came with around 400 so i think this puts it at about 500 for the whole factory library and what's cool is synapse audio released a pdf of all of the new patches so you can actually go and find them because a few synth developers will add patches to their preset bank and you're like well how how do i find them <laughs> like you know you just gotta go hunting i guess but yeah so you can see all of them here i'll play some of them in a second and then we also have we also have to, uh, a new envelope feature which is this analog so you can see here that unfortunately this this theme doesn't have it because this theme existed before synapse audio 2.5 but what we're going to look at here is oh, i will go to the default and you'll see here now it says analog so this is a little analog switch. And what it does is it puts the filter envelopes and the amplitude envelopes into an analog mode. And we'll talk about that in a little bit after we demo some of the presets. And then finally, there are there's a new, two new, um, uh, basically two new filter types. And it's these expanders right here, the low pass two pole and the uh, low pass four pole. And we'll talk about that after we go through presets. All right, so I'm going to go back to the theme that I like. And here we are. Let's check out some of these new presets. So the first one is an ARP sound. So we're going to go to factory. We're going to go to ARP. Make sure we're on ARP, and we're going to go, we're going to go to lovely, um, lovely Monday. Now, if you don't know about the power of the ARPs in in Dune Two, you're going to be blown away right now. So I'm just going to hold a C, a C note down. That's incredible. Um, so yeah, the ARPs in in Dune to the arpeggiated sequence. That's that's a straight up sequence to me. I guess it's an ARP, but um, it's incredibly powerful. So let's try a plucked outburst. 
do plus outburst. I'm gonna hold a C note down again. All right, let's look at precision trance. This one should be cool. All right, and Sonaris, that one has an interesting name. Stormer. All right, I switched keys there into a G, and then Swinger Pluck, let's try that. All right, so that's pretty cool. So let's check out some of the bass sounds now. Um, the sound bank factory, we'll look at bass. Let's do big square bass. Let's try that. That's pretty cool. Um, let's look at FM pastor bass. Pretty neat. Let's look at Mugo Mogo. I, I believe that's probably hearkening to a Moog. Or let's see what we got here. Yep, that is definitely uh, hearkening to a Moog. So we got. I mean, it's it's just crazy what we got. Let's look at a warm organ bass for you, deep house cats out there. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, gated sounds, I won't touch on those. Let's look at a lead sound now that was included. We'll do, we'll do factory, let's do, let's do Beyond the Pike. We'll do one more. Let's do let's do Dune Dune's Dragons. If it has Dune in the name, you'd think it'd be pretty cool. All right, so you get the idea. There's just a bunch of great sounds in Dune too. I'm not gonna go through all of them because it'd be way too much. So. What I will do now is go through some of the ambient sounds real quick. So I mean, if you're like, if you're like a hip hop guy, this would be great. You know, the ambient dark OVO type hip hop. So here's an example of the M segs that I mentioned coming into play in a pad, uh, kind of an ambient sound. Ooh, that one's good. So you get the idea, a bunch of cool ambient sounds. All right, so let's talk about the actual added features to the synth itself. First one we're gonna talk about is the analog envelope. So, so the analog envelopes, uh, you have them for both the filter envelope, it turns them on for both the filter envelope and the amplitude envelope. And again, I just wanna reiterate that it should say analog right here on this theme, it does not because this theme existed before the update. So if I go back to the default one, you'll see where it says analog. And you can see this line going down that indicates that both of the filter envelope and the amplitude envelope are now in the analog mode. 
So analog mode, that's something, or the word analog, it gets thrown around a lot with digital synthesis. I've never understood why there's the obsession that digital synths have to sound like analog, but that's a whole nother <laughs> conversation for another time. But basically what these envelopes are doing are they're, they're algorithm. it's going to change the algorithmic output of the envelope to, to be modeled after some type of analog circuitry does not say in the release notes for Dune 2.5 what those, uh, what, or what, if it's a specific circuit or a combination of certain circuits. I would say it's probably a combination. I don't think that the guys at Synapse would just do one, like choose out of all the great analog hardware synths out there, just choose one circuit. It's probably a combo. Or they took certain elements from, from certain circuits that they liked and kind of made their own algorithm for it. But that's what I'm assuming is, is what's going on here. So... What it basically does, because analog is a great marketing buzzword, but, but how does it translate to sound, right? Well, what it does is it adds more forward presence to the attack and the decay of the sound in both the filter envelope and the amplitude envelope. So a good example is this precision trance. I'm going to turn it off. So again, with this little switch, it should say analog right here. But when it's, not, when it's grayed out, it means it's off. So listen to the pit, like really pay attention or try to hear the attacks and how clicky clicky and present they are all right let's turn it on now do you hear how it's, it's more tight and controlled so in a mix that would translate to it being more forward and present and kind of popping out of certain elements of the mix so the types of sounds that this would excel on is anything that's i would say plucky whether that's kind of a hybrid pluck synth lead or a plucky bass or an actual pluck itself so let's go to one of the, some of the pluck sounds that existed before this filter envelope occurred and this this one was this uh first patch 1000 pluck az it came with the original version of dune 2 before this option was there but let's play it real quick all right let me turn this on now Adds a little bit of like high end air to it. It sounds like or it's it's just it's accentuating the reverb, I guess, on this patch. So yeah, it's gonna make everything sound more present and more forward. So if we look at this one, I mean, that's a pretty big difference so it's actually a really cool sound by the way <laughs> um hence me playing it probably way longer than i should have but anyway that's what the the analog mode will do in both the filter envelope and the amplitude in the amplitude envelopes all right, let's talk about the new uh, the new filters that are included, and they get their own category. So in Dune 2, you wouldn't even see this expander mode. They're low-pass 2-pole and a low-pass 4-pole. So what these are geared towards is it's a type of filter that's going to play very nicely with saturated, overdriven sounds. So you can think of like big leads, big basses, all that sort of stuff. So let's find a preset and check it out and see how it works. All right, so I've pulled up a big lead sound. And so the, this filter is oversampled. So what we're going to do here is the, the filter is off right now. And we're going to go to here if we go. Let me make sure it's off for both of them. Yep. All right, so let's go to uh, low pass four here. And keep that for album. So it, it's oversampling and it just handles the distortion and drive a little bit better and as well as the resonance above around, I believe it's 10K. All right, so it pairs nicely. The reason why the the analog filter envelopes were kind of rolled out at the same time as these these expander filter types, they they pair very nicely. All 
All right, so let's listen to the difference of a XP low pass four, and then I'll go to a normal clean multi mode. All right, so I can hear a little bit more high. There's a little bit more kind of saturation sizzle to it. So it's a very cool mode. Um, if I play this, it, it does hit your CPU a little bit harder. So I'm on a laptop right now. I believe it's just like an i5. It's not an i7. There's the expander, and we'll do the clean multi-mode. So it goes up a little bit higher, and that's probably because of the analog quality that is being you know, introduced and the oversampling. Anytime there's oversampling involved in a filter or anything in a synth, you're going to get a little bit bigger of a CPU spike, but it's still very cool. This is a six unison voice sound. It's very huge, super soft, and it's only really hitting one core, and that's because Dune 2 has multi-threading capabilities. All right, guys, so that those are the new features in Dune 2.5. If you like this video, you want to see more Dune 2.5 or more Dune uh, videos, how to make certain sounds, that sort of stuff, please post or like this video or comment, and you, feel free to request anything that you want to know about this synth. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.